So let's talk uh, last steps here, which is saving, exiting Greenkeeper, and then we're going to take a look at the files generated so you guys can, uh, if it helps you with troubleshooting for some reason, but we're going to look at the Greenkeeper files that are added to your uh, uh, course folder. Um, so quickly back into Greenkeeper, we did our score entry. At this point, we have all of our base inf uh, configuration. Remember, we need a splash screen that is a mandatory. We put our description in there, um, city, um, altitude is another good one. We, oh, I don't, never picked a course image. So there it is, splash. All right, now that's in there. Um, uh, and we did our out of bounds. We added a couple hazards, which aren't mandatory um, in order for this to work correctly. You could have no hazards, highly unlikely, but you could. Um, we added our at least one T, okay? In this case, I think we did three. Um, we did at least one set of pins. In this case, we did three. Um, we set our conditions, our default conditions, I should say. And we set up our T's and, and slope uh, and data entry. At this point, we're going to save. Now, the key thing here is when you hit save, it's going to say saved here. Just wait until it cycles through your scorecards because it's screenshotting those. And now you're good to go and you can exit. Now, this is going to say, you sure you want to exit? Well, if you just hit save, yes, you can just hit exit. Or if it makes you feel better, you could hit save again and it's going to cycle through everything. It's going to score your score, uh, save your scorecards. Now I can click exit and now I'm officially out of here. And let's go take a look at um, what happened inside of our course folder. Now you can see a couple things happened. One is we get this course details text document. And if you open that up and you look at it, it should look familiar. It's got your description in there. It's got some T information. Of course, I did not populate that correctly. Um, so it's you know a lot of zeros and stuff in there. Um, we also have our GKD file, which you see here. Um, this GKD, if you, for some reason, you want to completely reset Greenkeeper and start from scratch, all you have to do is just delete this file. And then the next time you open up Greenkeeper, it'll see there's no GKD file in there and it'll be completely blank, okay? Um, likewise, if you accidentally delete that, well, you just lost all your Greenkeeper data. You might also see on occasion some GKD back files, BAK files, those are essentially backup files. So when you open up Greenkeeper again and it sees there's an existing GKD and you save it, it'll save a previous version of that in here. You can safely delete those if you don't like them in there, but it's not a big deal if you leave them in there either. We've got our Unity file, which you generated before in Unity. That stays in there, of course. We've got this file, which is also generated, which is just an Excel spreadsheet of the, a lot of the same information we already seen, okay, which is our T information. Um, that needs to stay in there as well. We've got our scorecards. Um, which I'll show you here. We got our scorecards. It's always a good thing to take a look at those. Remember, if you exit early, remember I talked about these scorecards might not look right. So it's always a good idea to check them, make sure they look normal. There's our description. There's our default course conditions. And you can see I did not fill this out correctly. Okay. Um, and then lastly, we have our splash image there as well. Um, this is going to remain a splash, but the first time we load it in game, this will actually get trimmed out and a new splash image will get generated called like, it'll say the size of it and everything. But these are all the files that we uh, essentially are going to be using to open up our game.